Hi friends, welcome to another episode of In Miss Melanie's Kitchen. I don't know about you, but I love making cookies during Christmas time. When I was growing up, my mom would always make um, plates of cookies for me to take to my teachers or to other staff members at the school I went to. And I always loved it because I got to help her make cookies and I got to deliver them. So I thought that this year, because I'm not gonna be able to see a lot of the friends that I normally would maybe have a Christmas party or a Christmas dinner with, I thought that this year I'm gonna make some plates of cookies and I'll go deliver it to them. So I went to the store today and I stocked up on all the things that I'm gonna need to make some really yummy cookies this next coming week. So I have chocolate chips and I have some cocoa powder, some molasses, and some fun sprinkles because you cannot forget the sprinkles. And I also got some cute little packaging. So I got these little bags with Christmas trees on them and some plates. And I got some fun little muffin um, liners. And so I'll just make a bunch of cookies and I'll put, decorate them really nicely and wrap them all up and then I can go give them to some of my friends. So that is something that maybe you could do with your family too. So ready to get started to make some cookies? Come on. Today we're going to make a cookie recipe called Drop Style Christmas Sugar Cookies. I know, long name, but the recipe is actually fairly easy and they're really delicious. So to start, you're going to need one and a half cups of flour that I've already measured out. So I'm going to pour that into a medium sized bowl. And then next, I'm going to need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I have my little container of baking powder. I'm going to measure one teaspoon and then a half teaspoon. Put that in there. And then next, I'm going to need a quarter teaspoon of salt. So measure that. Then I'm going to give that just a little stir with one of my measuring spoons. And I'm going to set that aside. That's all my dry ingredients I'm going to need for this recipe. Next, we're going to blend our wet ingredients. So I have half, half a cup of butter that's softened. So I've had it getting out most of the day today. And I'm going to put that into my mixer. If you don't have a stand-up mixer, you can use a handheld mixer. And I'm going to add, I'm going to actually blend that up a little bit. Then I'm going to add three quarter cups of sugar. So I have a quarter measuring cup here, so I need to do that three times. So you ready to count with me? Three, one, two, and three. So we have our sugar. Now we're going to blend uh, mix that all up. mixed up nicely and it's nice and fluffy. So then we're going to add one egg. Now my egg has also been sitting at room temperature for a little bit so that way my butter doesn't get all hard and cold again. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to mix it all up again. So it's mixing up really nicely. I have my egg, my butter, and my vanilla in my mixing bowl. Now next, I'm going to add my dry ingredients. So I'm going to turn that off and pour this just inside. Now while this is mixing up, I'm going to get my sprinkles ready because you can't have a sugar cookie without sprinkles, right? So I'm going to turn that on and we're going to let it, I'm going to measure out half a cup of sprinkles. So 
don't feel so yummy. There's the dough. It's kind of thick and sticky, but that's how we want it. And now I'm going to add the sprinkles in. There is our batter. See all those fun sprinkles inside? I have my dough all ready to go. And next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl, make sure I get everything all mixed up. I'm gonna pour some more sprinkles into a little cup um, container because next what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll some little sugar cookie balls. So you want to make sure your hands are clean because we're going to be touching the dough. Okay, so I have some spoons here to help me just to kind of scoop it and then I'm going to form it into a little ball and I'm going to put just on one side some more sprinkles. Then I'm going to set it on a plate and I'm going to do that until all of my batter is in little balls on this plate. I've used all my cookie dough and now I have them in little balls, sprinkles on top. And I'm going to wrap these up and I'm going to put them in the fridge for at least two hours. You could put them in for overnight and tomorrow you can finish baking them, but I'm just going to put mine in for a couple hours so they can get nice and cold. All right, come back in a little bit and we'll see what they look like after we bake them. All right. Hi friends. I am here with my cookie dough that is ready now to be baked. So these are my, um, Christmas sugar cookie drop style cookies and I have a cookie sheet with a Silpat liner or you can use parchment paper. So I'm just simply going to set these on to my cookie sheet and then I'm going to bake them in the oven at 350 degrees for about um, 11 to 12 minutes. I have all my um, little cookies on the cookie sheet ready to bake. I'm going to put them in. While they are baking, I'm going to get my other cookie dough ready. Do you remember the cranberry white chocolate chip oatmeal cookies we made yesterday also? So I'm going to get these into little balls as well. So I'm going to be busy while the other cookies are baking. Okay, so go ahead and you can bake your cookies and I will see you in a few minutes. I've just taken out my sugar drop cookies and they smell amazing. So I'm gonna let them sit here for a little bit and cool and then I'm gonna put them on a little wire rack to cool even more. And that is your cookie. So I hope you enjoyed making it and I hope you're able to share it with someone. All right, I'll see y'all next time, bye.